doctor. This person is in super high demand, owns the number one restaurant on the planet, voted the number one restaurant on the planet, owns that restaurant, and is here to share about life and about success. Please welcome to the stage, Jean-Pierre. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello and welcome to the restaurant of life. My name is Jean-Pierre. I'm the maitre d' and the owner of this wonderful place. People come to the restaurant of life not only for the food, not only for the, um, the atmosphere. Huh? People come here to discover who they are. Because restaurant of life is the life you want. Okay? So, do you have reservations? Yes? No? Some of you say no? Huh? Are you, whoever said no, are you the type of person who just barges in on life? Expecting life just to hand things to you when you don't even know what it is you want? Huh? Is that you? Or do you plan ahead? Are you prepared? Do you grab a hold of the life you want by making a reservation? You have reservations? Good. Name? Ah, yes. We have been waiting for you. So, let's talk about where you want to sit. Where do you sit in life? Huh? You no care? Many of you no care? Okay, if you no care, maybe we put you over by the kitchen. Huh? Busy table, noisy table, you no care. Maybe we put you all the way over at the tiny little table by the bathroom. Huh? Pee-wee pee-wee. You no care. What is funny to me is many of you, we put you at the table by the bathroom over and over again in life, and you never ask for a different table. And then later, you complain that life stinks. <laughs> well, life does stink at that table. Pee-wee, pee-wee, huh? Wee-wee. Pee-wee, pee-wee, wee-wee. <laughs> or maybe you're the type of person that you like the table by the back door. That way, if something happens, you don't like it, you just split. <laughs> Is that you? Dine and dash person? Huh? I hope not. Or maybe you like me. Maybe you like life's finest table. Right at the center of the action of life. Huh? Nice table in the middle? Very good. Okay. Let's talk about the food. Now, most of the food is restaurant of life. It's very good. Very good. Tray, excellent. Huh? But some of the food in life... It's not so good, huh? Such is life, right? Some of the food is not so good. But the main rule in life is you get what you order from life, okay? So, you order spaghetti, I bring you spaghetti. And then you say, oh, maybe I want the steak. No, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you order spaghetti, eat it. <laughs> right? What have you ordered from life? that maybe now not taste so good, huh? Completely unfulfilling job? Bon appetit. <laughs> Codependent partner? Clean your plate. Because <laughs> you get what you order from life. Ha <laughs> ha. Everyone, you get what, what you, you order, order from life. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Very nice. Take you back to Perry with me, huh? So, let's talk about the menu. The menu at the Restaurant of Life has three pages. The first page is what we call the cliché appetizer, okay? This food is inexpensive, so very popular, but not so good, okay? We have the twice-cooked pork, three-day-old fish, two birds killed with the one stone, and all of these items come with a big glass of water from under the bridge. Oh, you want something from this page? 
No? Very nice. Okay. We have actually uh, 86 three items from the menu as well. We have 86 uh, for very particular reasons. We have 86 the gossip and goat cheese salad. It gets very messy. We have uh, taken off the menu the judgment jambalaya. It gives you the, uh, the heartburn. We have taken off the menu the pride pizza. Little hard to swallow. So, you don't want something off of the first page? No, no cliche appetizer for you? Okay. Second page off the menu of Lifea is the mediocre meals. These meals are also not so good, but you're not quite ready to give them up yet. Okay, we have the normal nachos, the so-so souffle, we have the I don't want to take a chance of chicken. Very popular items of chicken. We also have the uh, unfulfilling sandwich. Uh, this one is quite funny to me. People come in, they order the unfulfilling sandwich. Uh, it is not so good. Uh, the next day they come in, they order the same sandwich. Uh, it's not so good. But if you like the unfulfilling sandwich and you love the other one to take a chance of chicken, I have to recommend for you the deep fried dysfunction. <laughs> it fits right in with what you like. You want to order something off the mediocre meals? No? Okay. We move on to page three, my favorite page, which is the courses of courage. We start with the French bread of faith. It's very good. Followed by the linguine of love. And for dessert, we have the fearless flambe. Would you like to order something off the courses of courage? Very nice. You like me. Now... Let's talk about maybe the most important thing in the restaurant of life, which is who you share your table with. Hmm. Who do you invite to sit at your table? Do you care? Huh? Do you think about this? Huh? Maybe you share your table with uh, anyone. Huh? Maybe you share a table with a bossy person. Huh? Someone who doesn't listen to you. Someone who orders off the menu for you. Huh? Is that you? You, you, if you don't care, maybe you share a table with uh, a rich person. Not a rich person. A rich person. Someone <laughs> that when the bill come, they reach, uh, but they never pay. Is that you? Are you a rich person? Or do you share a table with such a person? I hope not. Maybe you share a table with a check please person. Someone who, whenever something happened in life, a uh, little bit of challenge, uh, check please. They're gone. Hmm? No commitment. Is, share your table with that kind of person? Are you that kind of person? Hmm? Think about that. I invite you to share your table at the restaurant of life with dream builders. Okay? Share your table with dream builders. Number one type of person you need at your table is a teacher, a mentor, a coach. Someone who's been down that path farther than you. Someone who has been to the places that you want to be. Someone who can show you the way. Very important. Number two, share your table with fellow dream builders in a similar place along their path as you. Traveling companion to share the journey. And share your table with beginners. Someone just starting out. Someone you can teach and lead and guide some. Those three people are what make life beautiful. Because this is the restaurant of life. This is your life. Life is a beautiful, beautiful place. I came to the restaurant of life as a teenager. Started in the kitchen. Happy to have work. Moved from Umbria to Paris. I was 15. Happy to have work. Work my way up for 20 years, save my money. And now I am the owner and the maitre d' of this wonderful place. Success has been mine for some time, but I have felt cold and dark inside. Also, most of the time, because I would taste success and then slide back. I would taste success again and slide back again because I was convinced I would do it alone. 
And then one day, a mentor came into my life, came into the restaurant, and asked me one question. My mentor said, what is at the center of your table? And I said, to be honest, success. We? Oui? And this mentor said, what if love and service were at the center of your table? And I made a decision to do that. And in that moment, my life changed forever. The moment I decided to put love and service at the center of my table, the universe poured blessings down on my life like you could not imagine. It was like a light went on. It was like a door opened. And ever since that decision, my life has been an adventure in transformation. This is the restaurant of life, yes? This is your life, yes? So I invite you today to make a reservation in the life you would love living. Sign your name to that life today. Order off the courses of courage. Pick life's finest table right in the middle of the action of life and share your table with fellow dream builders and pick a mentor to guide you and to lead you. And at the center of your table, decide for love and for service. And your life too will be an adventure in transformation. Thank you for your time today. Bon appetit, bon appetit. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.